Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at what causes tides. Tides are the rise and fall of sea levels caused by three items. The gravitational force of the moon, gravitational force of the sun, and the rotation of the earth. So let's take a look and see how these three items can cause tides. Gravity is the force of attraction between two objects. Anything that has mass also has a gravitational force. Objects with more mass have a greater gravitational pull. Gravity also gets weaker with distance. So the closer an object is to each other, the stronger their gravitational pull is. Although the moon is much smaller than the sun, the moon's gravity has a much more pronounced effect on the Earth's ocean because it is closer to the sun. On the side of the Earth that faces the moon, the pull of gravity causes the oceans to bulge outward due to the gravitational pull of the moon. On the other side of the Earth, the gravitational attraction of the moon is less because it is further away. Here, inertia exceeds the gravitational force, and the water tries to keep going in a straight line, and moves away from the Earth due to centrifugal force, and also forms a bulge. The Earth rotates on its axis, so this bulge, which is called the tidal bulge, is constantly changing direction. In this simulation, watch how the tidal bulge changes as the moon revolves around the Earth. Where the bulge is larger, it's high tide. Where the bulge is smaller, it's low tide. In this picture, you can see the difference between high and low tide. Tidal range is the height difference between high tide and low tide. The world's largest tidal range is 16.3 meters, or 53 and a half feet, and occurs in the Bay of Fundy in Canada. Most places get two high tides and two low tides each day. If you're on the part of the Earth facing the moon, you're at high tide. Six hours later, you're at low tide. Six hours later, you will be back at high tide. And then six hours later, you're back at low tide. And finally, after six more hours, you're back at high tide. Approximately twice a month around new moon and full moon, when the sun, moon, and earth form a line, the tidal force is at its maximum and the tidal range is at its maximum. And these are called spring tides. When the moon is at first quarter or third quarter, the sun and moon are separated by 90 degrees and the solar tidal force cancels the moon's tidal force and the tidal range is at its minimum and these tides are called neap tides. If you'd like to know more about tides, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.